historically, water and land use planning have happened in isolation. Uh, development requests will come in to a land planning agency and they'll take it to the water provider and say, we expect this many people in this type of development pattern and the water provider will figure out how to deliver that water. But without more water to go around, uh, that's just not the case anymore. We can't just go find more water. We have a shortage. We've over-appropriated the Colorado River Basin, which has clearly exceeded its carrying capacity. We have to find another way to manage our water. No one thinks about when the community is built out, is there enough water supply for the viability, the economic viability of that community? There needs to be a direct link between the intensity of a land use and the water supplies associated with that. Local governments have land use authority. They have the power to determine where and how their community grows. And we want them to grow water smart. The Growing Water Smart workshops are a great opportunity for communities to come together, bring their key staff, sit down in a retreat type environment and think about what their water challenges are and how they're going to address them. We've had to tear down silos. Our build-out population is projected to be 500 to 700,000. We've identified a deficit of approximately 45,000 to 49,000 acre feet. We've come to the Growing Water Smart workshop to learn strategies to offset that demand that we're facing and to learn from other communities that are also participating. Right now we're relying almost totally on groundwater. We can't just keep pumping and pumping. We need to recharge the aquifer and use groundwater wisely and conserve as much as we can. We have a really structured program that is results oriented. One goal per posting. It's not sitting there passively. It's three days engaged in strategic planning with exceptional facilitators. What about that water policy? Or what kind of policies and for who and at what scale? We have our council members, myself, our planner, our head planner, our, our director, and we have two Arizona water company employees. And then we also have our economic development director. So it's a, it's a good cross section, good group. I think that can give good input and, and hopefully we can come out with some good policy that we can move forward and, and incorporate into our general plan update. Our biggest challenge is just the time to sit down and focus. So that was the big benefit of being here is that it literally got us the time to just sit here and talk about this. Otherwise, we just don't have the time to do it. One of the things that came out uh, which we hadn't really thought about was installing two meters on a home or business, for one for indoor usage and one for outdoor. Communities can actually measure the cost savings, let alone the water savings, of these efficiency measures. We're going to start budgeting, so we're going to set up some water budgets, and it'll probably be by land use type. Teams walk away from the workshop with a 12-month action plan with goals, strategies, next steps. It doesn't end here. You have a plan of action, so when you get back, there's a document that we've agreed on as a group. So maybe we bring in the building department as well and get input from them. When every team leaves, they are given resources, whether it be technical assistance or opportunity to apply for financial assistance. And I think that's what's allowed the Growing Water Smart teams to really move forward from ideas to action. We went back and forth quite a bit, but we're kind of proud of where we ended up in order to protect our quality of life. Communities that were part of our first workshop are becoming leaders that others can ask for advice and for feedback. Thank you. We have had communities of all shapes and sizes come. Counties, smaller towns, bigger cities. 20-some communities that represent collectively about half the population of Colorado have now come to this workshop. We'd love to see Growing Water Smart all over the West. Colorado, New Mexico, Arizona, Wyoming, Montana, California, everybody is having these issues. To be able to grow a program that large requires both financial as well as human resources. There's always more desire and need than we have capacity for. It's exciting how well we've done and where we're headed, but there's more to do. Water is so critical here in Arizona that you know we've got to do something and we want to do it before we run out of water. <laughs>